there's only one reason for flying, and that is speed. So 2014 is a year that we'll, we'll something we'll be really proud of as we look at, back at the story of Under Armour. And uh, as you think about it, it began really in December of 2013 where we made our first acquisition of our first connected fitness platform uh, with Map My Fitness, a 20 million registered user community of this GPS tracking site that now today stands at more than 30 million and closing on 32 million users in just over 12 months. Secondly, we signed the University of Notre Dame and the United States Naval Academy. Uh, we launched our, our, our major platform in the, in the speed form Apollo. This is what fast feels like. With our our first holiday campaign we kicked off in, in February of last year at the Super Bowl at Grand Central uh, Station in New York City. Uh, we opened our first store in New York. Then we, as high as we were, we then found some lows with things like the uh, Olympics in Sochi where we had difficulties with the United States speed skating team where uh, they weren't performing at the level everyone expected and the fingers began to get pointed at the apparel and the, and the, and the skin suits that they were wearing. So enduring that and frankly I think um, validating the fact that it wasn't the suits and uh, that our company and our brand image was intact was something that uh, required a lot of resolve and frankly a lot of learning that we'll learn, have learned from and carry forward. Then we went into, I think, really our, our, our holiday with the Year of the Woman where we launched this campaign, this big tough football company, uh, launched our, our holiday too in the middle of uh, uh, end of July, beginning of August with this back to school college high school, college football, and uh, the, the story that we put in the market was about a ballerina named Misty Copeland. You have the wrong body for ballet. And that story was probably one I think anyone would agree was as big and important as any campaign that we've ever done because it was so purely Under Armour. It was underdog, overachiever, and somehow finding a way one way or another. And finally, I think just our financial results. You know, we had uh, a great year again. We, we posted our 18th consecutive quarter of 20 plus percent growth. Uh, one of only four companies in the S&P 500 that can make that claim. We had another, uh, posted our fourth consecutive quarter of 30 plus percent growth. Uh, we celebrated our ninth year as a public company where we have averaged a 30% top line CAGR and equally matched that with a 30% bottom line CAGR as well. There's been some highs and there's been probably a few lows, but you know, net net, I think we're really proud of the year that Under Armour had and looking forward to 2015. You know, speed and the ability to make fast decisions, you know, smarts is something you never want to turn your, uh, your back on. But if I had to choose, I would probably take speed, especially in starting a business and being an entrepreneur. And there's so many great ideas right now that are sitting in a basement or an attic where the entrepreneur is just timid or afraid to get out to market because they think it's not perfect, it's not right, it's not ready to go. And one thing you learn in business is that version two is always going to be better than version one. You can say, I want to wait, I want to hold back, I, uh, I'm just not ready, but to go and to move forward and I've had to make decisions as a company that I didn't believe were always the perfect decisions but I believe they were probably the best decisions for us as a company and us as a brand uh, and sometimes that better decision is just making a decision.